Good day. This is day seven of prayer for our country and for the elections. My name is Rulof Quant. I want us to focus our prayer, our attention today on praying specifically for the rampant crime and corruption in our nation. This is a very sensitive issue. You pray sometimes against people when you pray like this, because sometimes God has got to root some people out, take them away from the system or out of the system in order for us to see righteousness. Listen to Psalm 37 verse 17 and 20 and find David's prayer here, a very specific prayer. He says, For the power of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. In verse 20 of Psalm 37, it says, But the wicked will perish. Though the Lord's enemies are like the flowers of the field, they will be consumed and they will go up in smoke. Now, obviously, we want to be very, very cautious not to pray that God will kill people and just destroy people. But what we are praying, and I'm praying specifically, is that God will root out. God will deal with those that are wicked. God will deal with those who are in leadership positions in our church, and uh, in our nation, who are specifically not fighting crime, but are actually benefiting from that. So my prayer is, personally, that God will deal with the corruption in our leaders. Start with our leaders and deal with it from there on. And then the rampant crime is so serious. It, it is no secret that we have a country with an extremely high level of corruption, but also of crime. And the list of crimes goes on. Murder, rape, violence against women, and etc., etc. We have some of the highest statistics of some of the things in the world that I have just mentioned. So pray today that God will deal with those, take them away, take them out of the system who are corrupt and who are benefiting from this and who are in some way encouraging the crime. So we pray for our police force today. And so often I pray, Lord, protect our policemen. And there are many great, great, great policemen in our force. But we also know among them, there are also those who are benefiting from crime and who themselves are promoting wickedness as well. So we sincerely pray. We pray today for those that are righteous in politics. Those are righteous in our police. Those are righteous in our justice system as well. That God will strengthen them, that they would stand up for what is right, and that we together as a nation would see a phenomenal decline in crime and corruption over the next few years. Pray today against gangsterism. How many of our young people in certain parts of the country have been sucked into gangs and have been whose lives have been destroyed? And we pray against that as well in Jesus' name. May God break the power of the wicked ones and may God destroy the wicked in our nation in Jesus' name.